What's up guys, welcome to your 50th Android tutorial for the new Boston, again with me Travis. What we're going to do in this tutorial is basically set up this start activity for result button. If they click that, it's going to you know, give us some input from the next class for the most part. So what we're going to do is basically go into our open class because, <clears throat> excuse me, go into this open class, class and we're going to set up this on click method because again, this is for a return button. When a return button it is pressed, we're basically going to send the data back and then we're going to close the application. So again, every time we pass like data and such um, between classes, just think of that basket, that bread, and that person carrying the basket <clears throat> for the most part, which would be the intent. So what we need to do is set up an intent. We're just going to call this intent I or person. Because you know a person can carry stuff between two two activities, it just makes it a little bit easier to think about. And we're going to call it intent or new intent, basically setting up to be a new intent object. And then we're going to say bundle as well. We're going to call this backpack. Again, new bundle. Nothing too new here. And then all we need to do is basically set up what what information we want to pass through which will be our string and again whenever this on click or whenever one of these radio buttons changes it's going to change the string variable to our answer for the most part so that's a string that we're going to pass we're going to say a button or a ba backpack and we need to put the string in there so we're going to say dot put string and then we have to set up a key and we're going to call this answer or something like that and also our value, which is our set data. There we go. So there's our key reference, which again is kind of our file name, kind of. You can think of it like that. And this is the actual value or what that file holds for the most part. Then the only other thing we need to do is basically let the person carry the backpack now. So we're going to say person, which is our intent, dot <clears throat> put extras takes a bundle and we're going to call our bundle is called backpack and there we go pretty much the same same thing we've done before but we're going to add two different things since we're starting this activity for a result we need to give the result back for the most part and you do that by a command called set result within here it's going to take two things within its parameters basically one is going to be like hey everything checked out you know everything's good and then the other one is going to be our intent that we're going to pass back to the previous class so we're going to say uh, results underscore ok all cap locks and that's basically going to tell our program <clears throat> that everything's ok and then we're going to say our, our intent variable which is person and as you can see this results ok turned blue because that's that's not something we define that's just kind of a standard way to say operation succeeded Again, you'll, you saw that when we did that camera application for the most part. Then the only other thing we're going to do on this button is press is finish this activity. Again, we've used the finish method before as well. So now when our button's pressed, it's going to you know set up our person, our backpack, put, put a string in the backpack, and then give the backpack to the person to carry back to the previous class, and that's what the set result method does. <clears throat> Excuse me, I just drink a ton of pop, so like my throat's kind of has all that sugar in it and stuff so now basically um, this application will work but the problem is is when we hit that start activity for result button in the previous class it's gonna basically give us an error because right on our on create method we have that other bundle that we're, we set up from you know the previous tutorial so we're gonna comment out those three lines and uh, I kind of it's poor planning because uh, you know because it's going to give us errors either one way or the other whether depending on which button we press now the only other thing we need to do is set up the stuff within the on activity result under our data class and this is going to be basically the same as what we did for a camera application but uh, we're just going to say if uh, result code which again is something that we're getting passed back and this is actually if I go back into the open class activity, if I hover over here, you can see the first end says result code, the second end is our data. And that's basically what the same result 
And as you can see when we go into our data class, that's some of the information we get back. We get a request code, a result code, which is what we just set up, our string OK, a result OK to equal. And we also set up the data, which was the intent from the other class. So we're going to say if result code, referring to this integer variable that's getting passed in, we're going to say if that's equal to result underscore OK, basically saying, yeah, did the operation check out? Is everything all right? If it is, then we're going to do whatever is within this method. So that's basically what that result code was used for, for the most part. And uh, then under here, we're going to go go within these brackets, our if statement. And this is where we're going to just say, uh, kind of get the basket. So we're going to say bundle basket equals data. Again, the data is the intent from the, the class that just closed that we just set up. It's going to give us that information. We're going to say data get extras, again referring to the bundle that that data is passing over. So it's basically opening up the basket and getting, or opening up the backpack and getting our, you know, our string and all that, good, or opening up our, basically giving the backpack to us for the most part. And then what we're going to do, sorry if that's confusing, we're going to say set up a new string variable, call it s, and we're going to say basket dot get string. And then we just have to reference our key, which was answer that we set up. And then uh, we're just going to set our text view. Said our text view variable is called got answer, and we're just going to set that equal um, or set the text of that. So set text to our new string variable that we just set up within this class called S. This is capital S as well. And I mean basically our application is done. Oh, okay and also I'm sorry I wasn't thinking. Basically the reason why this is giving us an error is because uh, what we're doing is we're setting this int, this result int equal to this. We don't want to do that. We want to check if it's equal. So you do that by um, hitting two equal signs that's going to say, hey, is this equal to this? Opposed to, hey, assign this value to a result code. So two equals, and then we'll get rid of that error. I, I don't know what I was thinking. Just kind of went over that real quick. And then basically our application is done for the most part. Hopefully you guys kind of understand how data is working. Again, this application is poorly constructed because, as I'll show you real quick with our emulator. Um, and again, you guys, uh, you have to comment under our open class activity comment out where we set up that bundle because if we start activity for result it's gonna give us a problem and crash our program when it's trying to set up this bundle and say get extras even though we didn't send any extras into this class so that's why you have to comment out those within the onCreate method and then we're gonna go into our data and now what we're gonna do again is we're just gonna say start activity for result it's gonna open it up we're going to say super sexy, hit return. Again, it's going to put everything in the backpack, give us the answer, and set it up within this class. So hopefully it's that makes sense for the most part. Again, I poorly constructed this, this application, so um, for the most part. So again, this application is poorly constructed because if you know we started activity, now it won't pass the data into this class but now our start activity for result will work. And again, you can comment out uh, those lines. So, so yeah, it's kind of a poor example, but hopefully you guys understand about sharing data between two classes with an intent, a bundle, and then basically whatever you're passing. For example, a string. So thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next tutorial.